Hello, in this video we are going to look at some advanced expressions. So up till now, yes, we've used the match and search function, but the actual, you know, sort of pattern we've used is you know, very simple. It's essentially just this, does it match this? But we can go really complex into it and we can put it within our match search and well, our other, you know, regex methods. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So we can get rid of all of this. We still need the import re, so leave that as it is. So we're going to create a string, call it string1, and this is going to be equal to hello world is awesome. Now we're going to have a result variable which will determine if our sort of regex search is, you know, successful. So re, so we're just using the regex object, so re.search. So you could do this with match as well. I'm just going to use it with search. So this takes three parameters. So the first parameter is essentially the pattern that you want to match to. The next parameter is the string that you know you're checking inside. Final parameter is the flags. So let's have a look at the pattern. So the pattern we're going to be using is R. And what we're going to be doing is essentially checking if like the word world exists and get the words before and after. So we just put world dot asterisk question mark dot asterisk close the quotation marks. Now specify the string you want to search in. Finally the flag. So re dot m you separate all flags by a vertical line, the pipe re dot i so what does re.m and re.i exactly do? So the m is multi-line, so it does multi-line matching. And the i is, it basically does case insensitive matching. So that's what they do. And like so you can add more. I'm going to provide a link with this video, which will cover all of the different ways you can form patterns and all of the different ways that you can form your flags. We're going to cover the basics and the links will really help you go beyond that. But if you understand what we're doing here, you're all good to go. I don't know why it's giving me this error because I've tested this. This is only an eye. But I've tested it before and it was giving me an error then. I think it's just this IDE because you'll see it will work. So if if you're using the same idea as me, then you might get this error. Just ignore it. So first of all, we are going to check if the result is valid. If it isn't, we're going to handle that. So let's just do this code first. We'll do print no result. And if it is valid, we'll do, first of all, we're going to print result.group so this is a method and this will print essentially all of this and if I copy and paste this twice and if it is successful we're going to present result group for one and for two and you'll see what happens so let's click run so it's successful so it's successful it says hello world is awesome hello and is so again we were searching for the word world which we found we were searching for anything before and after. And if it was in this format, then we was able to get the two words. So that's it for advanced expressions. Honestly, there's not much more to it than that. Just experiment using what we've covered here in the previous video and in the links that I'll provide along with this video to you know create you know different types of expressions. But really, that's it for advanced expressions. We'll be using these a lot more and you know slightly different forms of them so feel free actually i would definitely recommend going over the links provided because we'll be using some more some more patterns in our future regular expression videos thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video